Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play an old Van Morrison song called Gloria. And it's going to start on an E major chord, and the way you play E major, first finger is going to go G string on the first fret, second finger on the A on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds like E major chord. And the basic rhythm of the verse and the chorus, we're going to do a down, down, up on the E major. And then from E major, we're going to be going to a D major. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go G on the second fret, second finger is going to go high E on the second fret, the third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret, and if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, that'll get you your clearest sound out of that, and that's called D major. It sounds really, really happy. And in the song, we're just going to do one big down on the D major. And then from D major, we're going to be going to an A major chord, and the way you play A major, first finger is going to go D on the second fret, second finger on the G on the second fret, third finger on the B string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And the basic rhythm of the tune, we're just going to do one big down on the A, too. So all together for our verse and our chorus, we're going to do E major with a down, down, up. And then we're going to do D with a down, and then A with a down. So we got E with a down, down, up, D with a down, A with a down, E with a down, down, up, D with a down, A with a down, E with a down. song. But around those those chords are also some other notes. So it's something else that could be cool is you could do an E major with a down and then play open E twice and then do the D major down and then play open E and then A major with a down and then do an open B string. So that could be like a cool lick to kind of try. You'd have E major, open E, D major, open E, like a cool thing to try too is kind of working licks around those chords but then there's some really cool lead guitar licks too and the main lead starts up on 12th fret on the high E and we're gonna play that three times and then we're gonna go to 10th fret on the high E and then 9th fret on the high E and then 10th fret on the high E so we got 12 12 12 10 9 10 12 12 12 10 9 10 12 12, 12, 10, 9, 10, 12, 12, 12, 10, 9, 10. And something else that could be cool with that is adding in some other notes to that. So you could play the 12s with the, on the E string with the 12 on the B string. And then kind of go to 10th fret with the 10th fret on the B string. And then it, on the 9th fret, if you kind of do 9th fret on the high E and then 10th fret on the B string at the same time. And then go back to the 10th fret on the E and the B together. So that could be kind of cool to kind of harmonize them with those notes. So you'd have 12s together, 12, 12s together, 10s together, 9 and 10, 10s together, 12s, 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 10s, 9 and 10, 10s. And then there are also some other cool licks that kind of come in around the lead part. And, and one of the other ones is where you're going third fret on the B string and doing a slide to fifth fret. So we're going three, five slides. So I'm kind of playing three and lead, like kind of pressing into the guitar a little bit to get the sound to carry to fifth. And then going back to third fret on the B, and then second fret on the B, and then open B. So we got three, five slide, three, two, oh, three. There are also some other licks that kind of work around so, some thirds where you could do fourth fret on the high E and fifth fret on the B at the same time, which kind of implies the E major. And then if you take that shape of four and five and kind of slide it down to two and three, second on the high E, third on the B, that's like a little uh, third around a D major chord. So you kind of have an E major third and then kind of a D major third. So going four 
and five, three and two. So that can be a cool lick to kind of add in too. And then at some point there, there's kind of a bass breakdown where instead of doing the whole chords, there's just the bass notes. So you may want to do that where, where you just do the D string twice on, on the second fret. So D string, second fret twice. And then we're going to go open D and then open A. So we've got two on the D, two on the D, open D, open A. Two on the D, two on the D, open A. Or open D, open A. Two on the e, D, two on the D, open D, open A. So that might be something else that you want to try and add too, but for the most part, you really could cover the song with just the E, D, and A, doing the E with the down, down, a D, down, A, down, E, down, down. Anyway, but that's the basics of how you can play Gloria by Van Morrison. So good luck!